Hey everyone, I was just going to do a quick review on this TV device that you can buy in stores. They claim to give you access to thousands of TV channels for free. It is the Rabbit TV. Um, I know you can buy it just about anywhere. I got this at Walgreens for $9.99. Um, basically, um, I threw the package away, but here it is. Um, the package itself, you get the instruction manual which just tells you how to register um, and then this that tells you do not return it to the store and honestly I think the main reason is because they anticipate a lot of people returning it because uh, you'll see why in a little bit but I think that they want you to go through them for support and not return it to the store because they are probably not going to be able to sell it in stores for long because there's a lot of complaints about it and then there's this um, advertisement for a ring which seems very oddly out of place as far as the device itself here it is it's a very small USB thing very small actually I had it in a computer case earlier today and I lost it I actually thought that it fell out but yeah so anyway so the first thing you do when you get it is plug it in um, it's actually really hard to get in that's what she said now on their website they claim again that you get access to over 5,000 TV channels for free that's the main word is that it is free um, but it technically is not free because you buy the device for $9.99 which that's fine I just bought it to try it out and then you have to pay $10 a year after the first year so you're still paying for it so it's not technically free um, they have this ridiculous uh, commercial here um, but anyway so yeah they you also got to pay shipping and handling if you order it off the website so okay so the first thing that happens when you plug it in you will get this startup thing and you'll click start now this is assuming that you've already registered um, mine is already registered and it will take you to this I keep having this problem every time I plug it in it says I'm already logged into a different computer which that is not right because I've only used it on this computer so you have to reset your login another annoying thing is every time you go to any page this YouTube commercial keeps playing down here and you always have to go and stop it alright basically every time you log in it will take you to this startup page which has um, these different things um, I think basically to describe this it's a flashier version of YouTube or Hulu um, basically you're getting all these access to shows but the misleading thing about it is that it's not giving you exclusive access basically everything that you have on here you could get for free if you just go to the websites um, of the networks that host these shows anyway um, so if I go to abc.com right now I could get all these uh, shows for free I don't have to buy a device for that and that's all this does um, let's say I want to watch um, Shark Tank so you'll click on whatever you want to watch and it will take you to um, this page here and it even tells you here that it's from ABC which means if you click on watch now it's just gonna go to um, abc.com which is right here um, the only difference is that it keeps it inside the rabbit TV frame so it makes you think oh this rabbit TV is making me able to watch this but actually no it's not doing anything for you it's just basically taking you directly to each network's website so I'm you know I uh, again that stupid YouTube thing is playing every time you come back to the main page there's gonna be a commercial playing um, they have live things which again is overrated because let's look at their live schedule alright it's on Ustream that's a free site you don't need that um, ESPN 3 and ESPN 2 anytime that any of them have a little key 
that means you have to pay for it anyway. You have to be a member of that original site, which costs money. Um, Alright, let's go to the main live page. Um, again, a stupid advertisement. Alright. Let's say I want to watch NBA tonight. Alright. They're streaming it free. So I don't even have to have this device for that. I don't have to have a device to watch March Madness because it's already on NCAA.com. Um, NBC, um, they stream their games sometimes. And I know for a fact that you have to be a member of that to watch. So, you know, this is... So far I'm not impressed. Um, as far as the movies... Um, maybe... Alright, well, there's a glitch. Um, as far as movies, okay, let's try this again. Say I want to see a movie. Well, just looking through their movie selection, it's all, like, low-budget, old movies. There's nothing on here that's even recent. So, if you want to do pay-per-view, you can, and it'll take you to, um, some other site. Um, let's say I want to watch, um, Lincoln... Yeah, yeah. See, it just takes you to Amazon, where you're gonna have to pay three ninety nine to watch it anyway. So, if you wanted to watch any of these movies, it takes you to the free movie sites like Crackle or Hulu, um, which again you can do without the device. There's also uh, radio stations that you can listen to, which you know you could do anyway. Um. I cannot get any of these live channels to work, which these, you know, all it is, these channels that are live, supposedly live, they stream their um, broadcasts for free anyway, so you're not actually getting anything extra by going through this device. Um, let's say I want to watch NFL Network. Um, let's see. Yeah, you're not actually going to get anything. Alright, so, every time I try to click watch now, all it does is it plays a, like a commercial. And then it asks you if you want to re-watch the commercial. So it's not actually giving you live TV with this, it's just giving you the video that they already have on their network so yeah this is it's pretty lame I don't recommend buying this um, and also let's say this is another misleading thing let's say I want to watch local US channels okay um, instead of like going to my TV and watching it for whatever reason okay so you'll search through this to find your state and I'm in Indiana, so okay. Here's all the channels. Say I want to watch um, CBS, which is here in my city. All it does is it goes to the um, CBS or to my uh, local CBS channel website. It doesn't even give me any video, so that's useless. Um, let's say I want to watch. Let's try a different one really quick, because I'm really getting tired of this. I'm not impressed at all. Again, same thing. It just takes you to the uh, website. So, yeah, this is lame. I don't care about this. Uh, when you buy it, you get a one-year membership for the $9.99 that you pay for it, and then after that, you have to pay $10. Um, so let's try to log out and see if it will do anything. Oh, this is another thing too. They make it look like you can just watch it on your TV. Well, technically you can if you wanted to plug your laptop in, but that's kind of useless now because so many people are buying smart TVs. Uh, I, you know, I have a, a network streaming box so I can watch all that kind of stuff on my TV, internet and everything. So. I don't even use my laptop to watch video or anything anymore. I just do it all on my TV. So I think this device 
came out a few years too late, so that's something else that kind of makes it lame. So the only way to watch it on your TV is to plug your laptop in, which seems kind of useless. Um, so anyway, would I recommend buying this? No. <laughs> is it a scam? I know a lot of people are saying it's a scam. I would not say it's actually a scam. I would say it's very misleading. Um, they do give you access, I guess. They don't necessarily give you access, they just show you where to watch all these videos. But they kind of make it seem like they're giving you exclusive access, which to me that's kind of shady. Um, since you can do everything that you can do with Rabbit TV, you can do it all without it. So you don't really need it. Basically what it is, it's a bookmark site. It, books, it bookmarked all of the website's um, uh, video sections for you to easily go there. So if that's what you want, then that's fine. But you don't need Rabbit TV to get access to anything that they give you um, access to. So would I buy it? No. I don't think it's going to be around long which would explain why they don't want you to return it to the store. Um, I think it's going to be gone, and no, I don't like, I don't recommend it. So, anyway, Rabbit TV, not worth it. I'll talk to you later. See you.